Radioactive dating is a way that we can take uh, nuclei and uh, determine how much of the unstable isotope is left over based on that unstable isotope, we can determine the age of things. Okay? And this is a great way to find out uh, archaeological items, the age of different rocks, the earth, etc. So there are a couple different kinds of radioactive decay, but we're going to lead into this first doing a little balancing problem that's related to the radioactive decay. So these are actually the decays that would occur for the two types of radioactive dating I'll show you. So first is uh, this here. Let's try to balance this. Here, 7 plus 0, so a total of 7 on the left. On the right-hand side, 1. Uh, so we will have a 6 here. And then 14 plus 1, that's 15. Whatever plus 1 that would be 14 again. This is going to turn out 6, would be carbon. And let's do the second one uh, before I go on to explain any of this. Here's a little more crazy balancing problem. You have uranium-238 goes to question mark plus, oh, darken this in, 8 alpha plus 6 beta. Here's a more crazy problem than you've seen before. Let me fill in the blanks here. Alpha is 4 and 2, beta is 0 and minus 1. So you have to know what alpha is, you need to know what beta is. Wow, what's this going to add up to? So, uh, 8 times 2, that's 16. And 6 times minus 1, that's minus 6. So a total of minus 10, or plus 10. Plus 10 here. So this has to be 82. If you look on your periodic table, 82 turns out to be lead. Okay, let's do the uh, number on the top now, the mass number. That's 238 on the left. On the right, we've got 8 times 4, that's 32. 6 times 0, that's 0, so a total of 32 there. 32 minus 238, 206. This is lead 206. Okay. See how to do that when you have multiple products? Uh, it's still multiplication in addition. Okay, so let me mention a couple details about this. Uh, this is a neutron from cosmic radiation. Nitrogen we find in the atmosphere. So from cosmic radiation and just nitrogen in the atmosphere, they're naturally producing carbon-14. Carbon-14 is an unstable isotope. Okay? Um, this will decay again through beta emission back down to nitrogen again, eventually. But because there is a certain percentage, uh, I think it's like a tenth of a percent, I'm guessing, of this carbon-14 naturally occurring, it gets into CO2, uh, and we breathe this in. So all, all things that are living will have carbon-14 in them. Uh, and as long as you're living, you're still intaking from the atmosphere carbon-14. When you die, that uh, you're no longer intaking that, whatever was living, it doesn't matter, a plant, you, an animal, etc. A wood, like from a plant, so you can do like archaeological stuff. So when that wood is cut, when the person shoots you, whatever, you're not breathing in this carbon-14 anymore, it starts to decay naturally, and so you can calculate when that item was alive, okay? From first order decay. So this is another uh, type of question that could be a rate question, where you're doing a kinetics sort of decay question, and we'll see some examples of that later. Um, so we're assuming a constant level of carbon-14, a constant carbon level on Earth, which is fine, and there are some points where uh, 
you have to estimate for some differences like the Industrial Revolution and such, but that's fine. Okay, for the second one, this is uh, some lead uranium dating. This, uh, so carbon-14 has not that long of a half-life. So we're not dating things that are too old, with car relatively that old with carbon-14. With uranium, it has a huge half-life, very, very long. So we're dating things that are billions and billions of years old, uh, potentially. So uh, here, we're measuring when the rock, say the rock was formed, it has a certain amount at that time of uranium. That's naturally decayed into lead. We can calculate the ratio, that is the amount of lead that was formed, similar to this sort of problem. Uh, and we can determine how old that item is. Okay? Assuming that all the lead is from decay and all the products remain in the rock. So that's decay. We'll do some practice examples a little later.